Hello friends, the tenth strength is the strength necessary for the advancement of previously opened tear in fabrics. The test samples prepared in the form trousers are used in a single tear strength test. We use the universal testing device, a ruler, scissors and holder jaws in this test. First of all, the samples are conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. Laying the conditioned samples on a flat surface, we start sample preparation procedures. Specimens must not be taken from areas too close to the salvages of the fabric when preparing samples. The place the specimen is taken must be no nearer to the salvages than 150 millimeters. Also, specimens must not be taken from places that are wrinkled and where there are folding traces. Five, including two sets of warp weft five of the test sample are prepared the dimensions of the specimen are 200 millimeters by 50 millimeters the samples whose long selvage is parallel to the warp are tested according to the weft length and those whose long selvage is parallel to the weft are tested according to the warp length 25 millimeters are marked on the short selvage which is 50 millimeters of the rectangular sample that we prepared and a line of 100 millimeters is drawn just in the middle. 25 millimeters are marked on the top of the marked fabric that is the specimen and at the end the tear line is drawn. Then we cut the specimen with scissors properly. The section we marked at 100 millimeters is cut right in the middle with scissors and the test sample is prepared in the form of trousers. Then this trouser shaped specimen is subjected to the test in the universal test machine. First the device is prepared for the test. Appropriate jaws are inserted into the device for a single tear. The device has two jaws. The lower jaw is fixed and motionless. The upper jaw moves at stable speed. The distance between the two jaws, that is, the indicator length, is set to 100 millimeters. The distance between the two jaws is checked with a ruler to see if it is 100 millimeters. After this control, the jaw growth rate is set to 100 millimeters per second. The test specimen is placed in jaws. The fabric must be placed in the jaws in a symmetrical manner. We'll start a tear in the midpoint between the two jaws which should be placed at the point. Then the force and elongation values of the computer are reset and the test is started by pressing the OK key on top. The movable jaw begins to move and peaks start to form. The tearing process starts from the marked 25 millimeters and continues till the marked section. It must be made sure that there is no slip in the jaws when the sample is tested. The tear must be linear. Test results are not taken into account if the shearing is not linear and if the jaws slip. The test is terminated when the marked section is reached and the results are saved on the device. 
Then we pass on to the second test specimen. And testing five pieces of test specimens in the same way, the mean value is given as the test result.